Welcome to Jewelry Brushes for Sketchbook. This video is just an introduction to these brushes that you can use for designing jewelry and can only be used with sketchbook. And especially now because sketchbook is free so everybody can have sketchbook, everybody can install sketchbook for free and use these custom made brushes with uh, this software. It is so easy to use and these brushes were created to help um, everybody who's uh, into jewelry design and we all know trying to design jewelry using a paper and a pencil how much detail goes into this uh, sort of designing so and it takes a lot of time to create stunning stunning looking jewelry so these brushes will help you and I will show you in a minute what are these brushes and how they can help you to enhance your designing skills and even to speed up times immensely like you can save a lot of time using these brushes especially when you're designing big pieces of jewelry so what are these brushes I will show you in a quick review if you go here let's say I'll go to window brush library and you can check here my library of course it's a lot different than your library because all of these brushes that I'm showing you right now they are custom made it took me more or less about two years to create these brushes so I can use them when designing jewelry and they will help you to design your own jewelry much much faster than you ever thought you can uh, draw or let's say paint jewelry or color jewelry because these brushes are already colored so how can I use them these brushes um, let's say we're starting with uh, I'll try one of these let's say we're starting with the chain you can see with the stroke of a pen you can draw a chain by the way this 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 brushes it's a must to be used of course with a pen enabled tablets like you have the Ativ from Samsung you have the surface pro all the surface pro series uh, there's a lot of different brands actually but mainly I'm using Samsung or Wacom Wacom just Wacom tablets Wacom because all of the Samsung and the surface pro they are using implemented Wacom technology so if you have a Wacom tablet it's, a, it's, it's amazing uh, or you can use it just with the mouse but it won't be uh, it, it, it will be very hard to design jewelry because all these brushes also they are pressure sensitive so you can use the pressure with the pen to create different thickness when you're designing jewelry like these are the chains we have three chains and there's a lot of more brushes com coming soon but I think with these like it's almost a thousand brush now with these brushes you can do almost almost uh, all your jewelry jewelry needs um, this is like a tube you can go of course with the thickness that you want even with the chains you can go with the thickness that you want then we go down to check some of the brushes this is called the micro prong entourage which is a, a center stone with a micro prong entourage as you can see, you can go with the settings to make it bigger or smaller. It's so easy. Then you can check out the rest of the brushes. It's, these are the diamond stones. White diamond stone. And of course, you can play with the sizes that you want. We have white, yellow, pink. Then we have the white gold diamond, which is diamond with already white prongs so you can see here it's very easy um, then we have the bezel white gold diamond bezel you see we have I mean just drawing these stones by hand each one by one takes a lot of time but when you use these brushes you will see of course the first time you lose it, you'll find it maybe a little bit difficult 
to get the flow of it but it it is trust me it is very easy and with the coming videos i will show you how i use these brushes in real world how i draw designs how i draw and necklaces how i draw um pendants earrings uh, uh rings it is super super fast and i will show you a lot of videos with with the designs that i've already done uh, the finished pieces that that i did using these brushes so <clears throat> you can see uh, we had the yellow with the yellow also the bezel and then we have the pink so all of these now we're checking we're checking just the diamonds okay we have the pink bezel and uh, and white bezel then we'll continue let's clear everything out okay then we'll continue we have the micro prongs we have the pavé setting we have like a, it's a tube of diamond there's a lot of different brushes we can go to the yellow pink with black you see the fake here you see the baguette we have white we have white on white we have white on pink we have white on yellow we have the main three colors of baguette which is the emerald sapphire and the rubies and we have the pearls mainly mainly the like all the colors or the most used colors of pearls then we have the black diamond with different setting different setup then we have the brown it's the same thing then we go down from there <clears throat> to the precious stones also the same thing you can find precious stones with white with pink with yellow gold you can find precious stones with different types of settings like this one this one this one then we go to the cabochon we have mainly different colors the cabochon with the bezel then we see these faceted stones so as you can see we have a lot of jewelry we have coral we have turquoise we have onyx black we have white jade all the semi precious not all the semi precious but mainly mainly the most used ones because it will take a lot of time designing uh, these brushes but i promise you that uh, there will be new brushes coming every month so this is mainly we have rose cuts rose cuts of different shapes we have rose cuts with the bezel then we have the spheres with different colors also different gold colors and there's a lot of some unfinished brushes will be coming very soon so this was mainly the introduction of these brushes in the next few videos I will show you how to use these brushes and what are the most important things to consider before starting to use these brushes because it's very easy it will save you a lot of time I promise and I will show you a lot of videos how I use these brushes so for now if you like this video now um, please subscribe to my channel and watch the rest of the videos and uh, please thumbs up and of course uh, I will put a link below to these brushes. Everybody who's interested with these brushes can click on the description below to go to the website and check out these brushes and start using them. So thank you and see you then for the next video. Bye bye.